Hey guys, Earthrock here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to give you a Windows 8 theme. Now, basically, this is like if you have Windows 7 and you love Windows 7, but you want the theme of Windows 8. Uh, like if you uh, just like going in here, personalize, and then like you choose your theme, but like you wish it looked like Windows 8. Well, look right there, Windows 8. Now, before I apply it, I'm going to help you actually get it. So what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna want to go in the description, and you're gonna want to download these three things. You're gonna want to download Windows 8 theme, Windows Start icon, and Windows 8 icon. You don't have to do these if you don't want to. There's no viruses, but if it does say it's a virus, um, just don't download it if you don't want to. But I just love having them. So I'll show you guys what you want. So <clears throat> here we go. Now. Uh, you're going to want to make a new folder, and you're going to want to take all the three WinRAR files, or whatever you got, and just put them on your desktop. So, we're going to open Windows 8 theme, Windows 8 icon, Windows start icon, well, start icon changer. And what you're going to want to do is just put them right in that new folder you created. So that one's done. Uh, yeah, that's the start icon changer. So that one's done. And that one's done. Now, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to go here. Going to open this, go to computer, your C drive, Windows, and then you're going to want to go to. Um, I think it is hold on okay guys sorry about that <clears throat> I just need to figure out where it was so when you're in Windows you actually go to resources so like C drive Windows and then resources which is right here there we go resources and then you're gonna go into themes now mine are already placed here but like you'll have arrow and arrow and like just these but like what you're gonna want to do I'll just replace them anyways because it doesn't matter is first you're gonna want to uh, let me change this view oh my god all right you're gonna wanna highlight all your Windows 8s okay you're gonna want to place them in now you guys won't get this but if you do just move and replace and then you guys want to move this Windows 8 RTM Again, you shouldn't get this, but that's only because I've already installed this. Now, once you have that done, you're good for the main part. Now, let me show you what the theme looks like. And, like, if you guys don't want to download the icon changer, like, I'll just show you what it looks like. So, you right click, go to personalize, or just look up theme and control panel. But you'll get these. All these are Windows 8, okay? It'll say Windows 8, but also it's got the daisy flower. Now, mostly I love black, but I think I'm going to go with blue on this one. Because I like blue. And see, so you hear a little startup sound. Alright, hopefully my recorder recorded that. But anyways, <clears throat> it, it like played a little sound that Windows 8 does. And... It changes everything. It'll change your loading wheel, your loading bars, like when you're installing something. It changes this, like friggin' stuff. But you have your Windows 7 icon. Now that's what that's for. Now if you don't want it, that's okay. So like, let me just do this because I hate how it blends in too much. Alright, there we go. So I got that done. Now what I want to do that I want to change my icon so you're gonna go into that w7bc folder and you're gonna run this as an administrator okay and when you run this you should it should like show these and say select and change start button you just click it and it's gonna want to find uh, this folder 10 sample orbs now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna want to navigate so desktop I just named my new folder. Now you could just use these. I'll do them for example, because uh, I've never tried them. But if you go into the 10 sample orbs, you'll get all these. So 
that one's kind of funny. Like, that's just what it is, neutral like that. And then when you hover over it, and they're all animated, so it's not a snap-on thing. They're all animated. So if you go like that, uh, it highlights. That's the next step. And if you click it, um, the Windows 7 icon just looks like that. And that one will stick its tongue out. So it's all animated. It's not like choppy, frame rate switched. So in this case, I'm just going to select these. So I like big ones, so there we go. Now you'll see that your like explorer will disappear for like a second or two and that is completely normal. It is rechanging and look we have the start button completely changed. Now if you use black theme it'll blend in a lot nicer so it's not confusing but look uh, this one actually does not have an animation so I'm actually going to switch to another. So 10 sample orbs and we have start orb 6. So I'm going to open this, it'll do the same thing, and there we go. This one doesn't have a like gray background, so it blends. And see, it highlights a little bit, I click it, and it goes like that. Ooh, ooh, okay. So that's all you need to do, guys. It's very simple, and if you guys wanted to uninstall it, all you need to do is go to a Windows 7 theme, and just go to those same places and remove it. It's, like, it's just like normal by switching to a theme. Okay, my, uh... Thing reset that's only because of my recorder don't worry about that but uh all you gotta do well not you just me so i just gotta reset the theme because my stupid recording software makes it reset it's like when i'm on skype but anyways enough with that downloads are in the description guys if this helped and worked for you please give it a thumbs up comment what you thought below if you guys have any problems i will uh, put a fix as soon as possible. I look at my YouTube every day and I will help you guys because I think this is very, very awesome. So remember, just go down here, download it, and hopefully you guys enjoy your day. Okay, I'll see you next time.